Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we can anonymize our Kali traffic using the Hunix gateway. Hunix is a Damien based Linux distribution aimed at providing security, anonymity, and privacy while surfing the internet. It uses the Tor network and achieves its goal by setting up two virtual machines a workstation from which you'll surf, and a Tor gateway. To find out more about Hunix, you can go out to the internet and you can browse on over to www.hunix.org and you'll find out all the information you ever want to know about this particular product. Hunix downloads as an OVA file and inside that OVA file you have two VMs that will be created. One is the Hunix gateway and the other one is the Hunix workstation. We're now ready to go ahead and download the OVA file for Hunix. To do this, I'm just going to scroll on down from the main page here. And I'm going to choose the operating system I am currently running from my host machine, which is Windows. Here is where we can download the Hunix workstation and the Hunix gateway as one download. Both will be available inside of the single OVA file we're about to download. So I'm going to go ahead and select the Hunix with the XFCE desktop. This is going to be the basic installation of Hunix using the GUI workstation that we have as an option for browsing the internet. If you're more advanced and you want to use just the CLI, you have that option as well. So I'm going to go ahead and download with the XFCE. And on the next page we have the download option. I'm going to go ahead and click that. That's going to pop up and it's going to give me the option to save the OVA file that we need. I'm going to say OK to that. And I'm going to save it to the location to where I know I can find it. Now once I've done that, I'm going to bring up VirtualBox. And inside of VirtualBox, we have one of two different ways that we can import this OVA file. But I'm going to go ahead and just use the File Manager. First I'm going to go to File. I'm going to select Import Appliance. On the next screen, I'm going to click on the folder icon and I'm going to browse on over to where I saved that OVA file. And there it is. Here I'm just going to double click it. I'm now going to go to the bottom of the window and click Next. And here I have everything that is customizable inside of this OVA file. We can accept the defaults. There's nothing for us to do. So we're going to go ahead and just import. Here we have to accept the agreement. I'm going to go ahead and agree. I have to agree one more time. And now the importation process will begin. Once the OVA file has completed its installation inside of VirtualBox, you're left with two virtual machines. One is the Hunix Gateway and the other one is the Hunix Workstation. So I'm going to go ahead and launch the Hunix Gateway. And it's going to launch just like any other virtual machine. If you want some more information about how the Hunix is developed and who develops the product and who supports it, you can read the following screens. When you're done, just select the radio button that says Understood and click Next. On this next screen, you do the same thing. You read and then you can select the radio button that you understand what you've read. Click Next. Here the Hunix is completed. Click Finish to run the Hunix Check. On this next screen, you're going to accept the default for the connect. Now this is going to allow us to connect to the Tor network, and that's what we need to happen. So let's go ahead and click next. And we can go ahead and click next one more time. And now the handshake and the check will begin. Now once that has completed, you can go ahead and click on finish. And you'll have another screen that pops up doing the bootstrap check between this machine and the Tor network. So this final check does a look to see if there are any updates available for this package, and there are. And if you want, you can just copy that, and then you can just paste that into the CLI, which is available right down here. But we're going to forego that and begin the next part of the lab, which is launching the Hunix workstation. So I'm going to go ahead and just say OK to that. And we're going to minimize this. This must be left running to be working. So now we're going to launch the Hunix workstation. It boots up rather quickly, and when it's done booting up, you're going to have a desktop that looks just like any other desktop. Now again, you're going to have to go through the agreement that you understand everything that is written in this three, four-part agreement. So I'll go ahead and check that radio button again. Click Next. 
let's go ahead and check that radio button one more time click next and we're going to click finish and again it's going to run through the check now this time the check is going to go through the Hunix gateway so the workstation is already pre-configured it already has the IP addresses the DNS information that it needs to work with the Hunix gateway there's nothing for you to configure and again when that check is done you also have another opportunity to see if there are any updates or what other information that the Hunix check wants to provide for you we're going to go ahead and say OK to that now to get to the applications or whatever else is available inside of the Hunix workstation you just go on over here and you can click on this icon and this is what you have to work with and so the workstation for Hunix works in conjunction with the Hunix gateway to provide a secure browsing experience so if you're concerned that your windows going through the firewall or going through the Hunix gateway or however you are trying to maintain anonymity on the internet is not doing it for you then you may want to consider browsing using the Hunix workstation in conjunction with the Hunix gateway so we are now done with the workstation part of this we don't need this anymore so we can go ahead and do a shutdown to do this I'm just going to bring up a terminal and from here I'm just going to type in sudo and I'm going to type in shutdown hit enter and now it wants the password now the password for this is change me all lowercase and in just in one minute it's going to shut down and we're going to move on with the rest of the lab for this next part of the lab we're going to configure our Kali installation to work with the Hunix gateway so that we can ensure that we have complete anonymity while we're doing what we do on the internet using Kali so I'm going to go ahead and log in so once we have a Kali desktop let's go on up to where it says devices from here scroll on down you come to network and now click on network settings make sure that your adapter for your Kali is set to internal network and that you pull down this window and you select Hunix as the gateway go ahead and say OK to that we're now ready to move on with configuring our wired network with a static IP address now to do this I'm going to go on over here to where the Kali icon is bring up the search bar and I'm going to type in network and from that I'm going to select advanced network configuration from here I'm going to select my wired connection one and I'm just going to double click it that brings up the properties for this particular wired connection I'm now going to scroll on over to where I come to IP version 4 settings here you see that my adapter is already configured with the static information now to do this all you have to do is click on the add button now you can start typing you type in the IP address you're going to type in the subnet mask now here I've used a CIDR subnet mask but you're free to type in the actual subnet mask that is provided for you inside of the lab file or you can just use 18 which is the CIDR calculation for that subnet mask the next thing you have to type in on that same line is the gateway this is the IP address for our Hunix gateway then we have to type in where the DNS server information is going to come from that's also going to be provided for us from the Hunix gateway now once you have all of this information typed in just go ahead and say save and you're done go ahead and close that out now we're ready to bring up a browser to do this I'm going to click on the icon for my Kali applications I'm going to scroll on over till I come to the web browser and I'm going to click on that and that's going to launch from here I'm going to bring up another tab inside of this address bar you need to type in dnsleaktest.com that's going to take you on out to the DNS leak test now here I'm not getting the information that I need for my location but that's okay I'm gonna go ahead and do a standard test and in just a moment it's going to come up and it's going to tell me where I'm getting my DNS information from now remember we are on the Tor network so I'm being routed all over the world currently we have two DNS servers one is provided by Cloudflare which is located over in Stockholm Sweden and the other one is located in somewhere in Finland and so in this short video presentation we got to see how we go about downloading and configuring the Hunix gateway application
So if you have any questions or you have any concerns about any of the information that was provided for you inside of this short video or the lab, please don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.